Hey guys, what's up from Japan, the beautiful land of the rising sun? It is a Thursday afternoon and I am getting ready for work. As you can see, it's still pretty cold、um, up here in Japan and we are trying to get used to this cold weather still. It's pretty bad out here. The weather is just continuing to be kind of poopy and it's keeping things really cold. But what I wanted to share with you guys is that I just picked up my Canon G7X Mark II camera here the other day. And I'm gonna be switching to this camera now so you guys can see me through this different camera in three, two, one, and go. <sighs> and isn't that just beautiful? I don't know how nice this image is yet. I haven't tested it yet. I haven't switched to my laptop to see what this looks like yet. But this feels, this feels pretty nice with a little flip up screen I can look at and then look down here at you guys. So this is actually not like, a, this is not a bad setup. Um, I know there's better cameras out there, guys. I know that some are more expensive. There's maybe better cameras、um, that are cheaper. But this one works for me. It's nice and comfortable. It can fit in my pocket.、Um, it's usually what I use when I'm carrying around my cameras and stuff. Just stuff it right in my pocket. So this is nice and thin.、Um, and it works out well enough. So I'm going to go ahead and take this one out and、um, just kind of get out into town. I'm going to head to work. So I'll film my way there. And then later on, I'm meeting with、uh, Yuki for lunch. So that's going to be fun. Um, so, I'll talk to you guys in just a minute. The hardest part about coming to work sometimes is that Indian restaurant right there. It smells so good. Guys, if you've never had like Japanese curry or curry at like a legit Indian place, so good, guys. Okay, guys, at work right now, time to go plan out my lessons for the day. Let's go. Okay, so work's done. Time to go meet Yuki at the Starbucks across the road. Hey, guys, we're at. Starbucks now. And I was just joined by、uh, this very special young lady right here. Hey, Bob. Yuki and I are kind of on like different work schedules a lot of the time, so we usually can't meet like this for lunch. But today is a little bit special, so we're meeting for two hours for Starbucks and chill, and that sort of thing. What do you think, Bob? I kind of like this whole having time to eat in the middle of the day. It feels kind of weird. It feels kind of weird? Why do you say that? Because it's not a day. Yeah, it's not really a date. We never have lunch breaks together. I know.、Um, I'm always either eating like McDonald's by myself or doing something like that during the day. We don't usually have this kind of time, so Yuki's kind of right. It's not a date that's usually when we're eating together. I guess you just call this a lunch date, a brunch date、mm -hmm. kind of thing. So. I can see myself. Yeah, you should be able to see yourself. <laughs> So, the cool thing about this camera is it has a little flip screen, but it also has like a bad habit of us like checking ourselves in the screen and then looking back and looking and checking. So, we're gonna have to kind of get used to that. What do you think about the new camera, Bob? I don't know, I like it. It's kind of Princess Leia y the hair you did all wrapped up just now. It's cool, right? It's good to see you, baby girl. That's the face right there. So, guys, we're outside of Starbucks now. And Yuki and I both thought it would be fun if we got some of Yuki's perspective on working in Japan. So, I'm obviously not from Japan, and I've made videos about what it's like to work here before, but I've never asked Yuki to share her thoughts about it.、Um, what's one good thing, one positive thing about working in Japan? Hmm, depends on what kind of part time jobs that you have, but my part time jobs, I get to learn. Some social manners. I work in a quite big hotel in Japan, like a Hilton in America.、Um, but um, they have very strict rules for you to the way you talk to the customers, like the certain language that you should use for the customers. And if I make one mistake, and people really, really tell me, you know, not to say, even if it's not a big deal. Um, it's just educational. It's, it's important to know if you want to live in Japan, you know,、mm. the kind of languages you use. Right. Very, very official, very formal. I think as a non part time worker in Japan, the good thing is to have the stability.、Mm, the stability、yeah. of the Japanese job?、Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, they kind of keep you for a long time. At least they that's the, the idea, right? Because they hold yeah. on to you forever. Japanese people don't really change their jobs. Mm -hmm. So they kind of expect you to, once you start, after graduation, you kind of start working in the same mm -hmm. one company and then you keep work, working until your retirement. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's just changing, them. but that's the tradition. Okay, what about a bad thing about working in Japan as oh a part-timer? Just so one, one thing. Working in Japan is very inflexible. Very strict rules between someone who started working before you and you. There's like senpai, kohai mm. relationship. It's yeah. really pain in the butt. I'm gonna be like polite to your senpai. It's not just like sort of being thing. polite is not hard, mm -hmm. but for someone that is superior than you, for them to be mean to you is a really common thing in Japan. The senpais are better than you, is the typical rules. So that's kind of annoying. And you can't fight it, right? You shouldn't fight. You can, but you might be fired. So do you think that your, your English speaking ability, is that like a big plus for working in Japan? As a part-timer, no. Even though I work in a hotel, mm -hmm. there are many foreigners, believe it or not. Mm -hmm. Maybe yeah. it's because we're in Kobe. If you're in Tokyo or something, right, a big right. place. Right, right. Yeah, but... <laughs> so yeah, not really. How about the differences between... So like, a foreigner working in Japan versus a Japanese person working in Japan. Do you think there's a difference it's, there? It's very different, yeah. Okay. Being a foreigner and working in Japan is really... I think it's rather easier than being a Japanese person. But you can use the, the foreigner card at any, you know, if you get, if you're late at work, they will say, oh, he's American, he won't understand the Japanese manner. Right. Or if you make a mistake, they kind of cut, cut you some slacks. But for a Japanese person, they expect you to understand about okay. Japan. So definitely, definitely different. They treat you differently. The other day, I was working in my hotel, and then you need to make the customers to sign, like check in, right? You right. have to write that paper thing. Mm -hmm. And I didn't have my pen at that time, so I used the front pen. You, you know this fancy ass pen? Yeah, the that pen they that. Have? Yeah, they're for the customers, right? Yeah, and I just kind of used that in the circle where the customer should write, like mm -hmm. where the they need to fill out. Yeah, the space. Right. And my boss, well, not my boss, but like my senpai, right? And she was like, came really close to me and just like in the coldest voice, I said, don't use that pen. Like, it was so scared. I I've made a huge mistakes by using a pen. So it's that kind of overreaction. Well, yeah, it feels because, like overreaction. Yeah, because customers generally, like when you circle out for them, they want to use your pen. Right. So some people just took my pen. I didn't have the pen and it was a crime. Like for a person coming who wants to work in Japan, mm -hmm. from your perspective as someone who's lived here, what's your advice to them? They want to come to Japan, they want to teach English. What's your advice? I say expect the culture differences and typically Japanese people are not as talkative as American people. Not that's very generalized opinions. Don't be surprised if you say something, if you ask a question and no one answers. <laughs> yeah, that happens a lot. That is very typical. When I was little, when I was in my classroom with an ALT, he, will, he or she would just ask a question and no one answers. And that's very normal. So don't be embarrassed and don't be, you know, sh don't stress out about it. But just expect that will happen a lot, right? Okay. Yeah, that happens I think a lot. you know better. Yeah. So expect Japanese people to, um, yeah, not be as responsive as you might expect. Maybe that transfers to the office workplace if you're coming here for office work. Maybe that translates to English teaching. But it's okay to not have them answer every question. So it's not because they hate you. They just don't know what to do. That was definitely weird for me. So that's, that's good advice, I think. Okay. So thanks guys, we're gonna leave it there with the questions and I'm gonna run back to work, Yuki's gonna finish her coffee and then get to yoga, right? Okay, so we'll wrap it up there. If you guys have any more questions for me or maybe for Yuki, you can like kind of scout out in comment the comment below. section. Hey, you guys can hit up the comment section down below and we'll, um, I'll try to get back to you and Yuki will try to get back to you as much as we can. So thanks guys. I might not. Let's ditch the outfit. I've got training now. 
training is really not so bad. Matt, I know you're probably watching this, dude. I hate training. I hate training, Matt, but I love you, bro. Okay, here's the situation, guys. Yuki's done with yoga, and she's walking with her mom back home. And I am this blue dot here, and Yuki's walking. She's sharing her live location. So my objective is to go find her. Wish me luck. Here we go. Gotta cross that street. I think I found her. She's really close by. I'm like right on top of her, but I don't, I don't see her anywhere. It's, I don't know where Yuki is right now. That's the oh. end of the vlog. Bye. 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 Oh, I was going to do it. Oh my God, you're so cute.